everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today I'm going to show you something else that I use Make the Cut software along with my eCraft. If you notice on the screen here, I found this really cute Mickey Mouse ice skating image online. It was a free coloring page, so it's all in black and white. And we're going to use this image to create a series of SVG files that can be cut out on our eCraft. So I'm going to go ahead and just close this image here, and we're going to go to our Make the Cut software. I am working with Make the Cut 3.0 beta version right now, and um, I really, really like it. So I can't wait until um, there's a couple little bugs in it. They get those fixed so that we have a stable version, but it's really, really very cool. And first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to this icon up here that is Pixel Traits. And it's also Control shift t if you're using your keypad or your keyboard. So when we click on this, we're going to select the image that we want to trace. And we're just going to go ahead down here and select Open. And we're going to get this screen here. Now, one of the things that we do here on this screen is you have this zoom slider so you can zoom in and make sure that it's tracing everything properly which on this one it is now if it's not zoom if it's not tracing everything properly then you want to adjust your threshold and this but this can go anywhere from 1 to 255 um, right now at 127, which is the default, it looks like it's working here pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and select Import. And you'll see now that we have our Mickey Mouse image on our screen. I'm going to go ahead and make him just a little bit bi bigger so he's easier to work with. And the very first thing that we're going to do here is that we're going to do a break. Now when we do a break, it takes every shape interior and exterior shape and makes it one piece so that we can then recolor everything and get everything to the way we like it. I'm going to click over here so that I don't have anything selected and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select the very very background so if you see here I hover my mouse over that background the outline of everything becomes a red line I'm going to select that and over here under layer properties what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this button here that says selection to new layer and you'll see that it over here in the icon boxes you can see that it took that one image and put it on its own separate layer for us now to make this a little bit easier I'm going to go ahead and recolor that black and I'm going to hide it so now you can see that we have only the interior pieces that we would piece on top of that black image um, that we need to work with in recolor. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I usually start with the larger pieces first and then uh, work my way to the smaller pieces. So I am going to make his hat and his shirt uh, be red. So I clicked on the one image and then I held down my shift key to hold to click on the other image. And there's a little piece over here. I'm going to go ahead and select that as well. And again, I'm going to say selection to new layer. I'm going to recolor those to red and I'm going to hide that layer as well. That way it's very easy to see everything that I have colored and things that I have not colored. So now I'm going to select his pants here. And if you notice when I select his pants that there's this little teeny tiny cutout area here that did not get selected. I'm actually going to select that little cutout piece and I'm just going to delete it because we don't need it. And we're going to go ahead and select this. And I'm going to select his little pant cuffs too and just make all of those be the same color. And again, we're going to selection to new layer, and we'll make that be a blue. So we're just going to keep working with this until we get everything colored the way we want it. And I'm going to do his skates here. I'm going to do these skate colors. Make this a new color, and we'll do the dark blue too to go with his pants. And then 
the bottom soles, those will probably be black. I'm going to save that because I have other black pieces to do. I'm going to delete these little interior pieces because we don't need those. Select the blades and we're going to make those gray. Um, this white cummerbund and these pieces on his hat, we're going to make these white. Um, get his skin here. Okay, so now we've got... This little piece actually should, <clears throat> should also be white. So I am going to go ahead and unhide my white layer. And I'm going to select one of those pieces with the interior portion of his eye. And I'm actually going to uh, join all these pieces together. So now that interior white portion of his eye is also white and it's on the same layer with all those other white pieces and I'm going to hide that and now I've got a bunch of black pieces here to do okay so now with the exception of this one little piece here we've got everything colored and I'm just going to delete that little piece and to make sure I've got everything, I'm just going to go to my default layer and make sure that there's nothing shown here and there isn't. I can go ahead and delete that. So now I have each color on a separate layer. And we can go ahead and start setting everything up to be an SVG file. Now I have the this black pieces portion unhidden and I also have this black background. I'm going to go ahead and unhide both of those and I'm going to set these up so that it makes for a better SVG file. And I'm going to take each little individual piece here and just move it so that when I cut this I can save as much paper as possible. I don't want to have big open spaces because that just means that I'll, I'll be using more paper than I need to. So we're just going to go ahead and piece these all together. And now since everything else is hidden, what I can do is I can do a select all, and it's going to select all these black pieces. And then I'm just going to go to export selection to SVG file. Now you'll notice here that I already did this before, so I'm going to go ahead and use these SVG files that I already created to cut these all out on the eCraft. And we just do that the way we did before, where we import an SVG. And let me get into the right folder here. And there is our black images that need to be cut out. And I like to, when I'm doing a project like this, just to help me keep on track, is I'm going to go ahead and make a new sheet for every color and just bring everything in. And the eCraft will let you have six projects open at a time, and I think I have, I do, I have exactly six, so that's perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and get all these files open, and then we're going to go ahead and get them all cut out, and we're going to put this together into a cute little uh, gift bag that is going to be going to my son Jared here for Christmas for one of his presents.